How does one solve calculus word problems? Hi, I'm Jimmy Chang. I've been teaching college math for nine years, and calculus is a course I've been fortunate to teach for the last few years. And one of the things that students always have trouble with, but they've gotten better over the years, has been solving calculus word problems. Now, here are some tips to show you exactly the kind of things that you will need to do in terms of word clues so that you'll know exactly what process the word problem will ask you to entail. Now, often in calculus, you'd be taking the derivative a lot, as well as the antiderivative, aka the integral. So, here are a few words to help you solve those word problems related to calculus. Now, when you first start out on calculus, you're going to find pretty soon on how to find the derivative, aka rate of change. Now, here are quite a few words or phrases that will help you that will tell you immediately that you need to take the derivative as part of solving the problem. Now, if they want you to find the slope of the tangent line, the slope of the curve, those two are synonymous with finding the derivative because part of the definition of the derivative is finding the slope of the tangent line. Now, but also derivative is the rate of change. If you're asked to find the rate of change or if you're given in the context of a problem that things are changing or increasing or decreasing, that's another clue to write things in derivative notation. If you're asked to find things involving marginal cost, marginal revenue, marginal profit, marginal is a rate of change, so that tells you you also have to find the derivative of the function they give you. And lastly, if you're asked to find the maximum profit or the maximum area, anything like that involving maximum or minimum, again, part of finding the derivative enables you to find those maximum and minimum values. So a lot of derivative clues. Now, as for the antiderivative, you use the antiderivative, or integrals rather, to find areas and volumes of shapes. So whenever they're asking you to find a volume or an area given the function, chances are likely that you'll need to set up some sort of integral to solve the problem. So I'm Jimmy Chang, and there are some clues on how to solve those calculus word problems.